your state-of-the-art infotainment system has changed a lot since the days of a simple radio. It is a complete center for today's newest entertainment and communication sources. Today, we're going to review the basics of your center stack. Keep in mind that there are more in-depth videos in our product library to help you with many of these features. Center stack. The infotainment system in your GMC terrain can be controlled in several ways. Using the knobs and other buttons on the center stack, through the steering wheel controls, voice recognition, and through the touch screen. The control panel on the infotainment system is thoughtfully laid out so you can easily access the main functions of the system. As you might expect, a press of this button turns the system on and off. Turning it adjusts the volume. These buttons can be used to select stored radio stations. The Menu Select button is turned to highlight a feature. Press it to activate the highlighted feature. When you press the Fave button, the system will display the current favorites page above the preset buttons. Pressing it repeatedly will scroll through all the favorites pages. You press the Source button to switch between audio sources including the radio, the CD, and other sources like Bluetooth. Press the Home button to go to the home page. And the Back button takes you to the previous screen in a menu. This button takes you to the clock menu. And the Info button toggles through an audio or navigation information screen. Pressing the Config button allows you to adjust features for languages, time and date, radio settings, phone settings, display settings, and vehicle settings. Pressing this button or the Tone Settings button on the home page lets you adjust bass, mid-range, treble, EQ, fade, and balance. Different tone settings can be set for each source. The Phone button will take you to the phone main menu. This button mutes or unmutes the speakers. The playback controls for your audio system are fairly universal on most players. Let's look at those. This button plays or pauses a music track. Press these to seek the next or previous track on a CD, USB, or Bluetooth audio source. Press and hold to fast forward or rewind through a track. When you release the button, you'll return to normal playing speed. If you're listening to the radio, these will seek to the next or previous strong station. Of course, the eject button is used to eject a disc from the CD player. Steering wheel. Depending on your vehicle's options, it may also have infotainment controls located on the right side of the steering wheel. Press here to interact with voice recognition or a paired Bluetooth device. Press here to decline an incoming call or to end a current call and to cancel voice recognition. While using the infotainment system, this button also toggles the vehicle speakers on and off. 
The thumb wheel control is used to select different audio sources by pressing it in. Roll it up or down to select the next or previous radio station favorite, or track on a CD, MP3, USB, or Bluetooth audio device. Volume controls are also located on the steering wheel. Voice recognition. Voice recognition can also be used to control the infotainment features. To activate voice recognition, press the voice recognition button on the steering wheel controls. Touchscreen. The touchscreen homepage allows you to access many of the infotainment system's features. These buttons along the top allow you to navigate through the menus. Pressing the back button returns you to the previous page. Pressing home returns you to the home page. And the Fave button displays a page of stored radio station favorites. Keep pressing the button to scroll through the favorite pages. The Next and Previous buttons allow you to navigate between the four home page menu screens. That's the basics of using your infotainment system in your vehicle. There's a lot you can do with the controls on your center stack. Take some time to learn what they do and the world will be at your fingertips.